The picture that you see on your screen is of a person named Louis Braille. At the age of three, he had injured his eyes, leaving him completely blind. Yes, he sadly lost his sense of vision. Being a bright and inquisitive child, he continued his education and invented an interesting system which is today known as the Braille system. This is the system for visually handicapped people as it helps them to read and write. Let us study more about the system. This basic structure of the system starts with the Braille cell. As you can see, it's a cell with six dots arranged in three rows and two columns. These cells are named as 1, 2, 3 from top to bottom on the left and 4, 5, 6 from top to bottom on the right. Now on a piece of paper, some or all of these dots are slightly raised about their position. This is for the visually handicapped people to feel these dots using their sense of touch. So this was just one braille cell. There are many on the piece of paper that can be used to form long sentences and numbers. The dot height, cell size and cell spacing are uniform throughout. Coming back to the single cell, how many patterns do you think can be formed from one single cell? This can be one pattern, this can be another, this is one more and so on. How many patterns do you think can be formed? There are a total of 63 dot patterns that can be formed. If we assume no dots raised to be one pattern, then 64 patterns can be formed. Each dot pattern can represent letters, combination of letters, a full word or some symbol. Here is the list of the combination of dots representing the things mentioned above. For example, the letter A is represented by this cell. Only the first dot is raised in this case. Similarly, the letter J is represented by this with these three dots raised. The dots 2, 4 and 5 are raised. So this is the set of patterns we have for the English alphabet. 26 such patterns. But now I want you to observe something interesting. Look at the pattern for the digit 1 and the letter A. Aren't they the same? How does the visually handicapped person know whether it's an A or 1? For that, look at this pattern which says number follows. When we have this pattern in front of a pattern, it tells us that a number follows. So this here tells us that we are talking about the digit 1 and not the letter A. Similarly, this would be the digit 2 and so on. Why do we need to have these preceding pattern? Why can't we just have different patterns for numbers? That's because we have limited patterns. Only 64 if you remember. So just with this one pattern of number follows, we saved 10 more patterns for the digits 0 to 9. We also have patterns for punctuations and signs. You can see that this cell represents the question mark sign, whereas this cell represents plus sign. Braille system is the most popular system for the visually challenged people used across the world. Braille text can be produced by hand, or nowadays it is produced using specific typewriters as well.